Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we've got something exciting to share with you. As CapCut Pro users, we're always on the lookout for new and innovative editing tools. And today, we're diving into one that's been getting a lot of attention, HitPaw Edimacore. We're gonna try out this tool for the first time and share our honest thoughts and impressions with you. If you're interested in checking it out yourself, we've included a link in the description below. All right, let's kick things off by downloading HitPaw Edimacore. Head over to the link in the description below to get started. You can also search for it on Google using this name. Here we are on the HitPaw Edimacore website. Simply click on the download button and follow the on-screen instructions. The download should only take a few moments. Once it's complete, open the installer file to begin the installation. The installation is pretty straightforward. Just agree to the terms and conditions. Choose your installation location and hit install. And there we go. HitPaw Edimacore is installed and ready to go. Let's open it up and take a look at what we're working with. When you first open, you'll be greeted with a simple setup wizard. Just follow the prompts to complete the initial setup. Overall interface is quite same as CapCut and other video editors. Here, we can see some of the most trending video editing tools nowadays. Below that, we have the projects panel, where we can find the projects. And on the left side, we have a dedicated panel for tools, now let's create a project and look at the interface and key features in detail. We have the main editor on the screen and here on the left side, we have the resources and import panel. In the center, we have the player and on the right, we have the effects editing panel. On the bottom, we have the timeline where we spent our most of editing time. As you can see, it's pretty intuitive with clear sections for importing media, editing, and exporting your final product. It's quite similar to other video editors, but its color theme is unique. Now, let's import a video and look at some key features. The import feature works same as CapCut PC. Here on the top, we can see the basic editing tools like trim, crop, AI copywriting, and many more. On this side, we can see the effects panel from where we can edit and perform corrections on our video. Further, we have audio, speed, animation, and color panel, which allows us to edit our video in a very easy way. We can perform the trim using these button and shortcut keys. Here we have a very useful feature called AI copywriting, which can write and plan different type of video for us. This tool is also packed with many more AI tools. Now in text panel, we get to see a lot of text templates, such as social media animations and other text template for many categories. Transition panel also contains very cool transitions, which you can use for your vlog and project editing. In the effects panel, we get to see some cool effects, which can enhance the look of our video. Subtitle tab allows you to add subtitles to your video using AI. This feature is great, but it costs credits here, while in CapCut, it's free. Both tools have their own strengths, so the choice really depends on what you're looking for. CapCut is well known for its advanced text editing features, offering a wide range of fonts, styles, and animations. HitPaw Edimacore, on the other hand, also provides robust text editing capabilities with plenty of customization options. When it comes to special effects, CapCut has a long-standing library that's extensive and versatile. HitPaw Edimacore, although newer, also offers a rich selection of effects that are easy to apply and customize. Overall, CapCut, with its established reputation and comprehensive features, remains a top choice for many editors. However, HitPaw Edimacore, with its innovative and user-friendly approach, is definitely worth considering. The choice is yours. So, what do we think of HitPaw Edimacore? It's an impressive tool with a lot to offer, especially if you're looking for advanced features and customization options. Whether you're a beginner or a seasoned editor, it's definitely worth checking out. 
If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.